love conquers all. I will conquer love and I will have my all. It's December of 2003 and we're on our honeymoon in India. Standing on the steps of the symbol of eternal love, the Taj Mahal. Just like a scene from a classic Hollywood romance movie, my handsome new husband sweeps me up in his arms and leans over to kiss me. Something not acceptable in those times in my culture. Just like any woman swept up in a passionate reverie, I cannot ever imagine that the fireworks between us will ever frizzle out. Wow. Four years and two children later, life has gotten very busy. But I know exactly what to do to keep the home fires burning. So, on a random day midweek, knowing that the children will be occupied and we will have some time together, I slip into my finest lingerie and stand over a steaming pot of his favorite curry dish, knowing that the delicious aroma that is filling the kitchen will excite him. And when he lifts the spoon to his mouth, the fireworks will reignite. Along with exotic Indian ingredients, I had infused the curry with my own magic love potion, adding a sprinkle of temptation, a dash of romance, and a splash of desire. In all my brilliance, I grew up knowing one thing for sure, that the way to a man's heart is through the stomach. What I also know for sure is that love conquers all. I will conquer love and I will have my all. I hear the key turn in the door. He walks right in and he says, what's cooking? Mm, something smells good. And then I sit, on, I sit at the table and watch him hungrily devour his meal, happily licking his fingers while I smile in anticipation. He pushes the dirty plate towards me and gets up to wash his hands. I stand up too, boldly in my silky lingerie, as if I were dessert. Ham chale? Wait, what? This doesn't sound like an invitation to love. Ham chale? Can I leave now? I fight back tears and I insist that I will not let him go. He laughs and I watch him leave. I know exactly where he's going. He's going to her. He's done this before. My body turns cold and I become manic. And the tiny voice in my head becomes my warrior's chant. Love conquers all. I will have my all. Love conquers all. I will have my all. I grab my jacket, run out the door, jump in the car, and drive after him. I catch up with him, luck is on my side. The traffic lights are red. I jump out of my car again and run over to his car and knock on the driver's side window. He rolls down the window and he's shocked to see me. I grab him by his arms and scream like a siren. I will not let you go. I'm oblivious to everything around me. I'm oblivious to the ridiculousness of my pleas. He coldly pushes my hands away and drives off. Doesn't love conquer all? Once home, I sit on my bed and begin to undress. I take off the shield. I take off the pretense. I take off the desperation and I sit there naked with the truth for eight long years. Today, I'm cooking my delicious curry again. And along with the perfect ingredients, I now add a dash of forgiveness, a pinch of compassion, and a huge dollop of self-love. The aroma fills up my kitchen and I draw the spoon to my mouth and smile knowing 
that love does not need to be conquered like any delicious curry love simply requires to be savored thank you